and it starts fast. Yeah! Okay, I said it. Wow, that's nice. You know what? Today, Uncle Nana has something very special for us. Mm. Let's get ready and listen to him, okay? Okay. All right. Wow. Uncle Nana here, and I'm so excited to come your way today. Today, we're going to have some fun going into the Word of God. And where can we find the Word of God? In the Bible. Ah? Huh? Did you hear a song playing? Ah? Huh? So we're going to go into the Bible today. So if you're ready, I am ready. Now, let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for bringing us all together again. Today, we're going to learn from the Bible, God's Word. Help us to listen very carefully 
so that we'll keep your word in our hearts and do just what you want us to do. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Wow. Ah, I'm so excited to come. Wow. Look, today we're going to learn something very important. Last time, you remember that God always keeps his word safe. That's what we learned the last time. Today, we're going to learn that God's word is complete. Say it with me. God's word is complete. For the last time, God's word is complete. Now, to help us understand this, I'm going to do fix some puzzle, a puzzle here, all right? So would you fix it with me? All right, come, let's fix this together. I love puzzles. I hope you also love puzzles. Okay, so let's, um, we have the pieces here. Let's put this one. Where can this go? Let's try the corners first, okay. Good. Then let's take this one. Okay. All right. Does it go here? Okay, let's try it. All right. Good. I love puzzles. You know? Okay, let's take this one. This big one. Where can it go? Um, um, okay. Is it here? Yeah. I think, let's try here. Oh, I think it fits. Good. It fits. Good, it fits. All right, let's try. Hmm, which one should we try? Okay, let's try this one over here. I think it can go here. All right, good. And this one, where do you think it can go? All right. Yes, it goes here. Good. And the last piece. Ah. Okay, yeah. Ah, that's the last piece. Wow. Wonderful. Clap for yourselves. Whoa. You did good. We fixed the puzzle together. But wait. If we took out the last piece, would you say the puzzle is finished? No. Why? Because there's one last piece missing. So when we put the last piece in here, now we have our puzzle all done. And it's finished. And we can say the puzzle is complete. Good. Now, how about this pizza? What's wrong with the pizza? Ah, there's one piece missing. So we can't say it's a full pizza. How about this birthday cake? Ah, what's wrong with it? Yes, there's something missing. There's a part missing. If it was your birthday and they brought you a cake and it was like this, you would say, there's a part missing. Okay, how about this car? Oh, what's wrong with it? It doesn't have one tie, one tie less. Ah, but if we put the tie back, and you know cars have four ties, then we can say it's complete. So if you have all everything together, like this puzzle, and there's no piece missing, then it's complete. Now, how about the Bible, God's word for us? Is it complete? 
Is God finished with it yet? Is anything missing in the Bible? No, the Bible is complete. All of God's word is complete. And you know, the Bible has many parts, just like the puzzle that we did. But it all fits together to become one big Bible, God's Word. It's made up of the Old Testament and the New Testament. And all together, they make up the Bible. Say, the Old Testament. Yes. Say, the New Testament. Yes. But all of this, these parts make up the Bible. So God's Word is complete. You remember? God's Word mm, is complete. Right. Okay. Now, if I ask you, do you believe in the Bible? Is the Bible true? If your friend asks you at school, is the Bible true? Can we believe in the Bible? Can we trust the Bible? What would you say? Ah, the Bible is true. All of God's word is true. Ah, huh? do I hear another song? Yes, it's true. God's word is true. All of God's word mm, is true. We can believe it, we can trust it, and certainly we can obey the word of God. But why is it true? That's because all of what we know or we should know about God is in the word of God. All the truths are in the word of God. And you also know what? The people, those special people God chose to write the Bible, they saw it, they saw all that happened with their own eyes. They were there. They, God showed them. And also, they, they heard what God said, and they also saw all the things that happened with their own eyes. Christ dying, Jesus Christ dying on the cross, Jesus rising from the dead, Jesus doing all the miracles. They saw it with their own eyes. And so we can believe that everything in God's word, all of God's word, is true. Now, can you see me? Can you see the shirt, the color of shirt I'm wearing? What color is it? Yes, it's white and you can see me. So if anybody asks you, what color of shirt was Uncle Nana wearing? You would say white, because you see it. You can see it, and you can believe it. So the people who wrote God's word, they saw the events happening, all the things that happened. God showed it to them, and they saw it with their own eyes. Mm -hmm. They saw it with their own eyes. So we can believe the Bible, we can trust the Bible. Now, do you remember the memory verse you have been saying all of these weeks? Do you remember? Yes, Psalm 119, verse 89 and 90. The first line, what does it say? It says, forever, O Lord, your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. Wow. Firmly fixed. The word of God is firmly fixed in the heavens. It means that it's forever. The word of God will never change. At night, sometimes, what do you see in the sky? Something round, something round. What do you see? What's that? It's the moon. Right. Now, if you take your eraser hmm, and you try to erase the moon you think it will go away no how about if you use a wipe to try to wipe it 
Would it go away? No. How about if you close your eyes, you close your eyes, when you open your eyes, the moon will still be there. Yes, that's God's word. It's forever. It will never change. And you know, some bad people in the past, long time ago, have tried to burn the Bible. They've tried to get all the Bibles and bury it so that nobody will read the Bible. Nobody will see the Bible. But look, today, we still have the Bible. Even you have your Bible. Where's your Bible? This is my Bible. Where's your Bible? Yes, you have a Bible somewhere. And even some of your daddies and mummies, they have their Bibles on their phone or on a tablet. So the Word of God is forever. Nothing you can do can take the Bible away or change the Bible. The Bible will never change. God's Word will never change. So today, we have learned three things. The Word of God is complete. Mm -hmm. And we also learned that the God's Word is true. And finally, we've learned that God's Word will never change. It's forever. So, when you go to school or you are with your friends and someone says, ah, the Bible, it's an old book. I don't believe it anymore. My parents don't believe it. Maybe me too, I don't believe it. You tell them that, look, I learned it at Sunday school, that the word of God is true. And the word of God, there's nothing missing. It's complete. And it's forever. All the bad things and the bad kings who have tried to hide the word or bend the Bible, it hasn't worked. We still have the Bible. Yes, and I have my Bible. So, maybe you also don't believe in the Bible. But remember, those who make Jesus their special friends and trust the Bible and obey the Bible, do what the Bible says, they are the ones who, when he comes again, when Jesus Christ comes again, he will take them away to be with him in heaven. So, I am Jesus' special friend. And so, if you want to be Jesus' special friend, so that when he comes, we can all be with him, then I want you to pray this prayer with me. All right? Close your eyes. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for teaching us that your word is complete and it's true. I want to believe in your word. Help me stop all the naughty things. Be my special friend today in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, congratulations. If you did that, if you said that prayer, then you are Jesus' special friend. Yay! I'm so excited. Wow. What you are going to do is to continue to pray and ask God to help you love the Word of God. If you can't read the Bible, ask mommy and daddy or auntie or uncle or your big brother or your sister to read the Bible to you because that's where all of God's Word, all that He wants us to do is in the Bible. It will help you to grow. It will help you to be wise, to know what to do at all times. The Bible, God's Word, is complete. God's Word is true. All of God's Word is true. And God's Word is forever. It will never change. So today, we have learned three things that God's Word is complete. Two, 
that God's word, all of God's word, is true. And the third thing we have learned is that God's word is forever. It will never change. All right? So, we're going to come back. Then I'll ask you some few questions to see if you are following the Bible lesson. All right? We'll be back. In the beginning was the Word, and it was with God and was God. Before when I had seen or we had heard, there was the Word. I know the Question one. Now, we said 
that the Bible is made up of different parts, two main parts. Do you remember the parts of the Bible that make up one Bible? Yes? Did you say Old Testament and New Testament? Yes, you are right. The Bible has the Old Testament and the New Testament, and together we have one big Bible. Right. Okay. So, do you remember three things that we learned today? Do you remember? Yes. Just mention one, then afterwards you mention the second one, and the third one. Okay. Did you say, this, did I hear somebody say that the Word of God is complete? Yes, the Word of God is complete. Yes. And the second thing we also learned is that the Word of God is true. All of God's Word is true. Old Testament, New Testament, every part of the Word of God is true. And finally, we learn that the Word of God is forever. It will never change. No, it won't. Whatever you do, it will never change. Like the moon, it's there. Whether you raise it, whatever you do, it's still there. So the Word of God will never change. It's forever. Well done. Clap for yourselves. Yay. All right. So, until next time, see you. Hello, my wonderful friends. It's craft time. I hope you enjoy the lessons. Guess what I have with me? It's the poster for today's lesson. It says God's word is complete. And so today... We are going to color, okay? And when we color, we can have this in our room, in our, in our hall, and it will always remind us that God's word is complete, that we can trust God. And so I'm going to help you to do the coloring. So I'll need my color pencils and my crayon, okay? But I'm going to use the colors brown, black and gray. So I'll start by coloring the head of this man with the color black. Do you see that? And then I'll color his beard using black. Okay. Wow. And then his dress, which is brown. Okay, so I'm going to color it nicely. Wow. The dress is so big. Oh my God. Well, but I need to color it all. I hope you are enjoying the coloring. Good. Wow. It's good to learn about God's word, you know. I'm so excited. Wow. And then I realized that he's sitting on a stool. So I'm going to use a color gray to color that one too. Oh, yeah.
And then I see that he's holding a scroll. Yes, so I would use brown and gray. Yes, 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 yes. Brown and gray, so I'll, I'll use a gray one first. And then rafter, I'll use the brown one too. Just to give it a different look. I love coloring. I know you like it too. Wow. Yay. See what I have. Now I need to color his. Oh no, I didn't finish coloring his dress. Okay. There's this part that I need to color too. It's brown. It's deep. Um, yeah, oh yes, now I need to color his skin, I'll use the lighter brown, yeah, okay, so let's see how that goes, yeah, His fingers are, they look tiny, but I have to color it all. Yeah. Oh, and there's some here too. And his neck. And then his face. can see this man likes God's word. See how he's holding the scroll and reading it. Oh, yeah. Now, do you see that there's some, the scroll is put on something like a table? Or, yeah, we need to color that one too. Um, okay, I'll use gray and brown too for that one. But I have to do it I don't have to deepen it, so I'll use, I'll lighten it up. See what I have. I hope you like it. I hope you also have the same thing at home. You've done the same thing, right? Okay, so now let's write our name. I'm going to write my name here. Okay, so, Auntie Celestine. So this is what we have. I hope you were able to do a good job like this. Thank you for joining us on Sunday School today. Have a pleasant week. See you again next week. Bye-bye.